Hi everybody, this is Adam. As you know, I'm sharing my oil and gas laboratory experiences sometimes at different platforms. But it has been a long time that I'm not sharing any videos because of the pandemic circumstances. And in this term, our plants nearly uh, performed full capacity and there wasn't any free time to make any video. And I have to say that um, I'm taking really nice feedbacks and comments uh, about my videos. It really encourages me to make a new videos. And it's really good to know uh, it's this video is helping some colleagues um, who works oil and gas um, field. As you noticed, I have started the video from my office because in this video I want to show the STM uh, method, uh, methods remarks and specific sections. After that we will go down the laboratory and uh, see the system and real time analyze. Okay, let's get a start. Okay, today topic is ASTM D1319 and name is Fersen's Indicator Absorptions. Normally it's, uh, the me method is uh, totally 11 pages, you can read it uh, after the video, but I just evaluate some sections, some important sections. Uh, when you look up the method, um, before the using the method, we have to be aware of why we are using this test method and which condition that we can use it. The method's target is a hydrocarbon functional um, type of hydrocarbons. The main um, target is detection of functional hydrocarbon types like uh, aromatics, uh, naphthenes uh, or saturates and olefins. You can ask me why we don't use the more um, technological um, instruments like a Piana or DHA. It's a good question but um, while they are the more technological um, instruments there are some restriction to run them because of the boiling point of the hydrocarbons so uh, if we don't run these technological uh, instruments you can use this test method to detect the functional things okay the most important part is the here that distillation hydrocarbons must be below 315 and the hydrocarbon mustn't be dark colored because it's interfering the uh, bands or color. So let's look up the system and I will show you in the laboratory. There's a two column. Oh, sorry. There's a two special glass columns here, and uh, we are using the inside the column with the activated silica gels, and there are some colorful dyes um, in, inside the silicas, and putting the samples from the top of the column. And thanks to the pressuring gas, the sample is going to top from bottom and uh, there are occurring some colors on the column and you are uh, measuring the levels of column and calculating the total uh, aromatic saturates and olefins. Okay, let me show an example here. 
Okay, after the uh, perform the column, there are uh, this type of colors: red ring, um, blue line, yellow or um, liquid, clear liquid. So it's we we are measuring this haze and calculating the total aromatics, olefins and saturates of the hydrocarbon. Okay guys, we are in the lab. This is our FIA fluorescence indicator system. As I mentioned before, we are two special columns. Um, as you see, there is um, some different diameters on the columns. And working parallel, and we fill the columns uh, with, with the activated silica gel. Then there is a solid indicator. You can use it. Uh, it's liquid form. There's no problem. And fluorescence lamp is behind this. So and um, as you see, there is a nitrogen. Uh, inputs top of the columns and you can adjust adjust the pressure from this bars Hi again the method is running It takes nearly five hours until the now and I think um, There's a two hours or three hours um, It will take a time at the end of the method and want to show you how the colorful rings I'm not sure you can see the red area and yellow area and after that uh, as I mentioned before we will calculate the height of the between these colors and report that as a volume concentration okay see you